Okay, in this video I want to talk about whistleblowers. Last week I made a video, published it on my YouTube channel about Gemma O'Doherty and the situation with Beaumont Hospital. She has been approached apparently, allegedly, by certain whistleblowers from Beaumont Hospital and on foot of allegations made by those whistleblowers Gemma O'Doherty made certain assertions in videos and so on. And last week in the High Court, the judge ordered Gemma O'Doherty to take down the videos on the basis that they were defamatory of Beaumont Hospital and of the Director of Nursing. I made a video, as I say, just reporting this fact, the High Court decision. It was a preliminary decision pending the outcome of the full defamation action in which Beaumont Hospital and the Director of Nursing are suing Gemma O'Doherty for defamation. However, some of the comments that I've received on my YouTube channel on that particular video are interesting because one of them in particular refers to the whistleblowers and it says Gemma O'Doherty was approached by whistleblowers which part of whistleblowers do you not understand, or something of that nature. I have to point out that I deal with allegations and complaints and the Protected Disclosures Act all the time in my day-to-day -day work. And I think there's a bit of a misconception from some commenters about whistleblowing and whistleblowers and what it all means. Let me just back up the digger a little. Last week there was a decision there by GSOC, that's the Garda Síochána Ombudsman Commission, to discontinue its inquiry into an alleged plot to bury Morris McCabe. The Disclosures Tribunal had been looking into various whistleblowing allegations by Sergeant Morris McCabe and other Gardaí, and in the Dáil then, in 2016, Wallace, Mick Wallace from Wexford, with the absolute privilege that he is afforded in Dáil Éireann, said that there was a plot to bury Sergeant Maurice McCabe and he shouted across at the Justice Minister Francis Fitzgerald and castigated and upbraided the Garda Commissioner, then Garda Commissioner, Noreen O'Sullivan. What were they doing about it? What were they doing about it? Because he claimed in the Dáil, in the sanctity with the absolute privilege of Dáil Éireann, that there was a plot to do down Sergeant Morris McCabe. These so-called, and he claimed that there was a recording in existence which would prove this, and the only way to disprove this recording or have it set at naught was that two Gardaí, he said, were prepared to perjure themselves and give evidence at the tribunal um, to support this or to bury the allegation, to bury the evidence that there was a plot against Sergeant McCabe. The commissioner then, Noreen O'Sullivan, referred those uh, particular complaints or the evidence that was going to be given or the allegations that was supposed to be given by these two guards to the Disclosures Tribunal. And the gentleman who was looking after the Disclosures Tribunal, Mr Justice Peter Charlton, couldn't understand why she did that, because there was never any question of these Gardaí giving evidence or giving evidence to set aside any evidence of a recording that McCabe had. And Mr Justice Peter Charlton pressed Noreen O'Sullivan on this, he said, this is something that I won't understand until my dying day. That is her referral of these allegations to GSOC, the Garda Síochána Ombudsman Complaints uh, Inquiry. And she said, look, nobody was going to accept my word. It was only fair to Superintendent Cunningham and Sergeant Martin to refer the matter to GSOC so that their names would be cleared. But that never, ever arose. Now, or GSOC have communicated the fact that they're not going to continue investigating it any further because there's absolutely no evidence of a plot to bury Morris McCabe.
So they are whistleblowing allegations brought up by Mick Wallace under the sanctity, the privilege of Dáil Éireann. If you go back then a week, you'll find that the Disclosures Tribunal, sitting under uh, terms of reference, Justice Sean Ryan, it rejected up to eight complaints it received from Gardaí who felt they were targeted by senior officers after making a whistleblower disclosure, it has emerged. So the tribunal began hearing evidence on the October 14th last about a complaint from Garda Nicky Kyo that he was targeted and discredited. Again, Garda Nicky Kyo's allegations, whistleblower allegations and complaints were given a lot of publicity and a lot of media coverage at the time when they first were uh, put into the public domain with the help of certain politicians. But the bottom line is the decision is the Disclosures Tribunal has rejected up to eight complaints from Gardaí. The tribunal is still considering four further complaints in private. The significance of this is that complaints, whistleblower allegations, are simply complaints, are simply assertions. They must be tested. They must be tested by the other side, the veracity, the basis, the evidence supporting those allegations, supporting those assertions, will be tested. So, the gentleman or women, anybody else, supporters of Gemma Doherty, leaving comments on my YouTube channel to the effect that there is whistleblower allegations coming out of Bowman and Gemma Doherty has them. This is not analogous to the golden ticket to the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. All a whistleblower allegation is, it's an allegation. It is simply an assertion, it is a statement, it is a complaint, it is a contention, but it must be and will be tested in due course as to its truth, as to its soundness, as to its veracity. So the fact that Gemma Doherty has or has not got whistleblowers lined up to make certain complaints really doesn't amount to a hill of beans. It's only when the complaints, only when those whistleblower allegations are tested, if indeed they're ever tested, or if they haven't been tested already within the workplace, that the truth or otherwise, the strength, the validity of those allegations will uh, become apparent. But for persons to be saying that, uh, you know, this is some sort of a game changer, that Jim O'Doherty has been hard done by because she was told to remove what the judge, Judge Senan Allen, found to be defamatory videos, and she was asked to remove them or told to remove them, ordered to remove them, but she has whistleblower allegations, as if this is some silver bullet. Allegations are allegations, they're complaints. Anybody can make an allegation, anybody can make an assertion. Go to your local pub next weekend if you can, and you'll have any number of persons prepared to make allegations about all sorts of things. But quite frankly, it doesn't amount to a hill of beans until they're proven. Allegations are not evidence, and again, comments on the video, we're talking about these people weren't brought into the High Court. No, they weren't, because it's not the time or the place. It was simply an application by Beaumont and the Director of Nursing to have the videos removed pending the full hearing of the defamation action. And coincidentally or paradoxically, Jim O'Dory's website now appears to be down, even though the next day or the day after, people were again leaving comments on my video and leaving links to Jim O'Doherty's website, leaving links to a new video that Jim O'Doherty published, and now the website is gone. I don't know anything about this, but all I'm saying is that whistleblowing allegations are allegations. Sometimes they're stood up, sometimes they're not stood up. And uh, the history of the whistleblowing allegations in, in, in relation to the guards and so on and so forth, Sergeant Morris McCabe was vindicated, Certainly, and he was compensated. He settled his High Court action against the state and against Tusla. But there's been a whole raft of other allegations that have not been stood up. 
and I think it's useful to have a look at exactly what an allegation, a whistleblower allegation is, because making a whistleblower allegation doesn't give it any more truth or any more patina of veracity than an ordinary allegation. All it means is that there's an allegation of a breach of the law, and again, that remains to be seen in due course. Anyway, hope you find the video useful. Thanks a lot.